All right, so here's a good one. People often will send me messages or in the healing, they'll be asking me, like, I really need to, you know, cut this cord. I mean, energetically, we can do that. We can cut cords, but, you know, we can release the, uh, I, can, I, as an emotional cord practitioner, can actually release the emotion that is keeping that cord attached to you, right? But here, here's the thing I was going to people. Anyway, uh, I always got to say hi to everyone on my walks. I don't know, just smile, hi, connect, see them as human beings, as we are all one. Who's this creepy hippie walking through the park? Anyway, so when they ask me to attach, to detach, to cut, and you know what, we can call on angels to do all of it. It's all real, you know, all of it's real. But the first thing that comes to mind is I'm like, stop thinking about them. <laughs> I know that's harsh, but it's the truth because you give them your life force energy by thinking about them. And I know that's difficult for a lot of people, and that's where a lot of the hard work comes in, and that's where I, I coach a lot of people. Now, right from the beginning of my practice as an emotional code practitioner, my first number one thing was that you've got to become the master of your own mind. You, know, you can't let these emotions in the body dictate your life anymore and it goes deeper and deeper because the vibration that you're actually vibrating at you're sending out that magnetic frequency into the universe and it's giving you with matter with people situations jobs it's giving you what you're vibrating at and i know that's always so tough for some people to even grasp in the beginning like hell no that's not me that guy that cut me off in the car that's not in me god he's such an asshole you know, and I get it all the time, you know, but it's like, you know what, the deeper people that have worked with me the longest, the ones that are really gone in and start taking responsibility for all of it are the ones living in peace, happiness, in love with themselves, in love with life, you know, so you want to cut some cords, don't give away your power, stop thinking about them, all right, some birdies were I always get the birds circling around you. The swallows, they come, they come in bunches. And the crows, I love the crows. I was just hoping to catch some bird action on camera for you. Maybe I'll cut this part out. Maybe I won't. One of my many beautiful walks that I like always by myself. I always take alleyways and off the beaten path because then you can really be with yourself, you know? Learn to love yourself. Peace out.